Hey guys, this is Allison from Allison's Written Words, and uh, this is part two of my 1,000 post uh, celebration. Um, in part one, uh, which you may or may not have just watched, um, I watched uh, volume one of the Cricut animated uh, specials, uh, I guess you can call them specials, um, which was uh, Cricut's Clubhouse. Uh, this is part two. Um, there was two volumes in the series um, of cartoons. Uh, this one is uh, Around the World of Cricket. Um, the, as I had explained in the, um, the first part, uh, the animation style of these, epi of these episodes, specials, what have you, um, is called Limited Cell, and it's uh, basically recycled animation. Um, it's very low budget. It's uh, cost saving. Um, and it's synced up with the actual, like, probably the master tape audio, uh, from the, uh, the book and tape sets. Now, I actually had Around the World Cricket. It was a, a book, a small, you know, hardbound book and, uh, cassette tape. And, um, the book had crafts and, uh, stories. I, no, I, and the, it, because the audio is the tape, you know, the audio in the cart and the cartoon is from the tape. Uh, you know, it's all the same things. And I was watching this last week, and I, as I had said with uh, Cricket's Clubhouse, it's probably been at least thirty years since I've seen the uh, the animated uh, version. And I had never actually listened to Cricket's Clubhouse prior to that. And possibly, uh, you know, I have, but I'm not really hundred percent sure. Um, around the world with Cricket, I listened to a lot when um, I had the book and tape. And um, it's been at least 25 years, but I was watching this actually last week to kind of get an idea of, um, you know, what it was, because I kind of wanted to just know what I was watching before I went into it. I did, really didn't want to go into this uh, cold. And um, I actually said, you know, I, I was actually surprised at how much of it I remember. I remember the songs. I remember the words, and um, after I will, afterwards I will tell you about something that I learned as a result of actually either watching this cartoon or listening to the tape, more than likely listening to the tape. I have a really good memory. Um, as I said in the first part, I have memory like a steel trap, and I don't forget a lot of things. I remember details. Uh, there was a few things about this I absolutely remembered. Um, the animation style in this one seems to be slightly a cut above the original. I say slightly because it's still really not the greatest animation. Um, but it seems to be slightly improved over the, um, the previous video. And that there may have been some changes, you know, possibly. And it could have also been the film quality that wasn't the greatest. Uh, obviously, these tapes are fairly old. Uh, they've been out of print a long time. Um, but anyway, uh, I won't have to say too much more. Um, why don't we uh, just jump right into the uh, into the video um, as we continue the 1,000th post celebration. Um, all right, uh, this is volume two of the Cricut animated videos. This is Around the World of Cricut. logo. Yeah, you just, obviously, but what else can I say about it? Except that you're always, you know, you'll always know that it's always going to be in the back of your mind. Another high top video you can own. Now, I, I'm wondering why they didn't use something from this video and why they just used the Cricket's Clubhouse theme. Uh, from the previous video, uh, which also sounds a lot like uh, the Muffin Man. <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? Muffin Man. <laughs> kind of sounds like that a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you know I think I, I noticed some subtle differences with the animation. Um, the pictures in the book I remember were actually pretty good, so my disappointment was actually that it was a lot nicer to look at on the pages of the book than it was on the screen, but I'm sure this is fine. Uh, you know, it's what it is for the 80s. And the song you'll never get out of your head either. I think that's the aim of these cricket specials. They just wanted you to get songs stuck in your head. 
this is Cricket talking to you. Did you know that the world is yes, a I did. place with all kinds of yes, different lots people, people in it? Well, it is. And I wish I could meet them all, especially the kids. I have ten pals and lots She's of so different popular. countries. She's so popular. A pen pal is someone you write letters to. It's a great way to make friends. How do you connect with all these people? There's a whole world full of friends waiting to say hello. They'd like to show you all their different And we all wave. Better back your suitcases. There's a whole world full of friends we can get to know. They live in the most amazing places everywhere you go. They wear different clothes. They got different names. The way they talk is not the same. But though we're different, that's okay. Cause we like each other the very same way. There's a whole world full of friends waiting to say hello. They'd like to show you all their different faces. Better pack your suitcases. I don't know all the words to this song. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite pen pals is my friend. Oh, they're all your favorites. She lives Don't lie. in a city in France called Paris. You tell each one I got a letter favorite. from Madeline yesterday, and this is how it started. Dear Cricket, every morning I go to the bakery and buy a long loaf of bread called a baguette. I bring it home, and then I make a cup of chocolate. chocolate. That's hot chocolate. After that, Funny, cause I, I actually remember room, this from you know listening to the tape years ago. This exact My part. My name is Jacques, so I sing a special song to wake him up. It is called Frère Jacques. Including learning Frère Jacques in French. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, Dormez-vous, dormez-vous, Sonnez les matines, Sonnez les matines, I'm not sure I butchered that, but I know it. <laughs> My friend Madeline always writes the best letters. And she writes them in French, really, so, you know, funny, unless she speaks French, she probably doesn't understand them. Because we sing it in my school. And you want to hear something funnier? My little brother sleeps late, too, just like Jacques. So I decided I'd do the same thing Madeline did. The next morning, I got dressed for <laughs> school. And then I went in my little brother's room. <laughs> she quality changes enough, during he was still this. I don't get asleep. it. So I went over to his bed and sang Frere Jacques. If you know it, sing along. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Well... I bet you think my little brother woke up. But he probably went, stop speaking yeah. another language. He just kept right on sleeping. So I decided to sing Frere Jaca a little louder. And this time in oh. English. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother dear, brother dear. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, dang, dong. Well, do you think my little brother woke nope. up then? Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> he just put his pillow over his head and rolled over. I couldn't blame him. I wonder if my friend Madeline has the same trouble with her little brother. I bet she does. <laughs> little brothers are probably the same all over the world. <laughs> I have a friend from Mexico. Her name is Juanita. Hola, Juanita. And last week... I went to her birthday party. She went to Mexico we for her birthday party. We had lots of fun. There was a pinata full of presents and candy. And we played a great game called the Mexican Hat Dance. Would you like uh, to play it? Not really. You would? Well, here's how. When I say, vamanos, you pretend you're dancing around a big Mexican <laughs> sombrero. Vamanos means go. And vamanos. And when I say, parate, parate, you stop dancing. Parate means stop in Spanish. Let's practice. Vamanos! That means go! Go ahead and dance in a circle! Parate! I hope you 
help you stop. Karate means stop. Now that you know how to do it, let's have some fun. Vamanos. Vamanos. Karate. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Vamanos. That's it. Keep dancing. <laughs> He sends me postcards of all the wild animals that live there. Hey, I know a guessing game we can play. I'll say a rhyme about an African animal, and then I'll say, guess who I am. See if you can guess what animal it is. Here's the first one. I can reach the top of the tallest tree, because my neck is long as long can be. A guess giraffe. Who I am. Did you guess giraffe? Yes. If you did, you got it Yay. right. Let's try another one. I'm very big. I live many years. I've got a trunk and floppy ears. An elephant. Guess who I am? The answer is elephant. Did you get it right? Here's the last one. I'm a great big cat and much, much more. I'm king of the jungle. Hear I'm me a lion. Roar. Guess who I am? Did you say lion? If you did, let me hear you roar like roar. a lion. All right. When I count to three, I say one, two, three. But my friends in other countries have different words for one, two, and three. Would you like to learn them? Great. Here we go. We say one in Spanish, it's uno. We say two in Spanish, it's dos. We say three in Spanish, it's tres. Dos, tres, tres. Now you say it with me. Uno, dos, tres. tres. That's it. Now let's try counting in French. Here's all you do. We say one, we say in, one French, in French, it's bon. We say two, in French, it's bon. We say three, in French, it's trois. Un, trois, trois. Try it with me. Un, deux, trois. Trois. Hey, that's great. Now how'd you like to count in Chinese? Here's all you do. Chinese, it's a ya. We say two. In Chinese, it's a ye. We say three. In Chinese, it's sun. Ya, ye, sun. Now you try it. Ya, ya, ye, sun. Sometimes my pen pals and I send presents to each other, especially on our birthday. Last year, my friend Lee from China gave me the most beautiful taste. Chinese kite. It looked like a dragon, so I decided to send Lee something for her birthday. I thought and thought, and then I know I said to myself, "I'll bake some gingerbread cookies. They're my favorite. I bet Lee would like them too." So I mixed the flour and sugar and spices and made a big gingerbread boy with my cookie cutter. <laughs> I gave him raisins for eyes, a jelly bean for a nose, and a chocolate candy for a cap. <laughs> was that gingerbread boy cute he or was. what? He was. He was delicious. Then I popped him in the oven, and in about ten minutes, he began to smell so good. So I opened the oven door, and I bet you'll never get. He jumped out and ran away. We know the story. The gingerbread boy man. Right off the pan and onto the floor. Wait. Wait, little gingerbread boy, I cried. But the gingerbread boy just laughed and said, I'm not going to stay around here anymore. I want to see the world. And then he ran out the door shouting, Run, 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 run you can, as fast you as you can. Catch me. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. 
I didn't even have time to tell him I was going to send him around the world. All the way to China, to my friend Lee. <laughs> you know, it's fun to write to your pen pal, but it's even more fun to visit them. I went to Hawaii once with my mom and, and I dad. wore my finest winter coat. I visited my pen pal, Leilani. Whenever Leilani wanted to say hello or goodbye, she and always said aloha. Said. And Hawaiian aloha is the word for hello and goodbye. Leilani sang me a song about it, and I'd like to sing it to you. Here's how it goes. Hello. I say hello. Oh my god. <laughs> Those are the most possessed looking pineapples ever. I mean, is that even a thing? My terrible singing, ladies and gentlemen. In the country of Scotland, a little girl is called a bonnie wee lass. I bet you already know a song from Scotland. It's called My Bonnie Wee Lass. I learned Lass this song watching this. Let's sing it together. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Oh, they reunited. My pen pal Cynthia from Australia knows how much I love stuffed animals. So every year on my birthday, she sends me one. They have such funny names, I have trouble remembering them. Maybe you can help me. I'll say, Cynthia sent me a kangaroo. What did she send? A and kangaroo. You say, a kangaroo. Each time, I'll name another animal. See how many you can remember. Here we go. Cynthia sent me a kangaroo. What a kangaroo. Did she send? <laughs> Cynthia sent me a kangaroo. And a koala. What did she say? A kangaroo and a koala. Cynthia sent me a kangaroo, a koala, and a kookaburra. What did she say? A kangaroo, a koala, and a kookaburra. Cynthia sent me a kangaroo, a koala, a kookaburra, and a kiwi. What did she a say? A kangaroo, a koala, a kookaburra, and a kiwi. <laughs> Do they have some funny or animals what? there, or what? In a country called the Netherlands, there are lots of windmill and flowers called tulips. The little Dutch boys and girls who live there wear shoes made of wood. I know a song about some little Dutch girls, and I'd like to sing it for you now. Here's how you can help. Put five fingers up in the air, and when I say one went home, you put one of your fingers down. Ready? Here goes. Five little Dutch girls sitting by the door. One went home and then there were four. Cluppity clop clop down the street. Go the wooden shoes on the Dutch girl's feet. If you put one of your yes. fingers down, now you should have four oh, fingers. Oh, I'm not doing it that way. way. Four little Dutch girls I did see. One went home and then there were three. Cloppity clop clop down the street. Shoes Go the wooden the shoes on the Dutch girl's feet. Three little Dutch girls I once knew. 
One went home and then there were two. Cloppity clop clop down the street go the wooden shoes on the Dutch girl's feet. Two little Dutch girls having lots of fun. One went home and then there was one. Cloppity clop clop down the street go the wooden shoes on the Dutch girl's feet. One little Dutch girl, now we're done. She went home and then there were none. Hoppity, clop, clop, down the Big street. Fast so the wooden <laughs> shoes on the Dutch girl's feet. Golly gee, we must have been around the world a couple of times by now. Aww. But there's one place we haven't been. And I'm going to tell you a story about it. Storybook Adventures. They're the greatest kind. There's no end to all the fun you'll find. You can have adventures and silly sights at home with a storybook adventure of your own. Once upon a time, there was a cat named Puss in Boots who lived in my backyard. It was nice enough, but nothing much ever happened there. Puss in Boots was kind of bored. I want to see the world, he said. I want to see exciting things in faraway places. Well, said his sister Carla Kitten, I want to see exciting things too. But I think I'll start right yeah, here I'm sure at this home. is really the story of Puss in Boots. Not me, said Puss. Why, I've heard that somewhere in the world, there's a thing that runs and runs and never gets tired. And I'm going to look till I find it. So Puss in Boots got ready to go traveling. He packed his bag and polished his boots and bought a nice warm coat. His friends gave him a Bon Voyage party. That's a party you give when someone's going on a trip. Then Puss in Boots set out to find the thing that runs and tired. runs and never gets tired. Carla Kitten stayed home. But every day she took a long walk and looked around at everything. Puss in Boots was gone for days. When he finally got back, his boots were worn down and his coat was covered with dust. Did you find it, said his friends? Yes, said Puss. I and found the runs thing that runs and tired. runs and never gets tired. Can you guess what Puss in Boots found? Well, little Carly Kitten guessed it right away. You found a river, she said. A river runs and runs and never gets tired. We've got one right here at home. And I've seen it. You didn't have to go far away to find that. <laughs> I guess you're right, said Puss. But while I was away, I heard about something even more wonderful. It's a thing that's invisible in the daytime, but plain to see at night. Gee, and I'm going to look to find is. it. <laughs> then Puss and Boots left again, and this time he was gone for weeks. When he finally got back, he had holes in his boots. And his coat was all ready. But he found what he was looking for. Did you find it, said his friends? Yes, said Puss. I found the thing that is invisible in the daytime, but plain to see at night. Can you guess what Puss and Stars. Boots found? Well, little Carla Kitten guessed it right away. You found a star, she said. A star is invisible in the daytime, but plain to see at night. We've got him right here at home, and I've seen him. You didn't have to go far away to find that. I guess you're right, said Puss. But while I was away, I heard about something even more wonderful. It's a thing that follows you everywhere, and it does everything you do. And I'm going to look till I find it. Then Puss Doesn't and Boots left again. Far. And this time, he was gone for months. When he finally got back, his boots were worn out, and his coat was gone. Did you find it, said his friends? Yes, said Puss. I found the thing that follows you everywhere. And it does everything you do. Can you guess what Puss in Boots found His this shadow. time? Well, little Carla Kitten guessed it right away. You found a shadow, she said. A shadow follows you everywhere and does everything you do. We've got them right here at home. And I've seen them. You didn't have to go far away to find that. Then Puss in Boots sat down and took off his worn out boots. You're right, he said to Carla Kitten. I've traveled all over the world, and you've stayed right here at home. But you've seen just as many exciting things as me. That's right, said Carla Kitten. Traveling around the world is wonderful, and I'm going to do it myself someday. But just remember, there are plenty of exciting things to see right in your own backyard. That's right. Do 
you remember the Hawaiian word that means hello and goodbye? It's aloha. Well, I'm going to sing the aloha song again. We're just about to rock but this But this up. time, it's going to mean goodbye. They say aloha. It means goodbye. They say aloha. Must you fly? They say aloha. Again. Be I'll be talking to ya. Not really, because there's no more cartoon videos. Oh, it's, that seems like kind of like a rushed ending, you know, after the Puss in Boots thing. I mean, I know, it's a kid's thing, but I don't remember if the tape was that short. You know, they could have used, like, the Aloha song for this. <laughs> But obviously the the credits are reused. I promised only one time I would sing, and I completely knew that. <laughs> And the coolest kid logo ever. <laughs> Alright, just turning that off. Well, <laughs> okay. Uh, I think the animation was slightly better in this one than it was in the first one. Um, Although, you can see where it kind of degrades a little bit. I think on the Frere Jaca uh, part, it kind of went back to being what it looked like in Cricket's Clubhouse. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking it looked different. I probably didn't. It, For all I know, it could have been some reused footage from, uh, you know, the original, uh, the first or the first cartoon. Um, I actually like this one better. Um, I like the music better in it. I feel like the ending might have been a little rushed. Um, I swear there was something more than the Aloha song at the end. Or I swear there was something between the Post and Booth segment and the Aloha song. Um, and I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, I like the music in this better. And I actually learned Frere Jaca and the Mexican hat dance from actually watching... Uh, not watching this, but listening to the tape, I just, you know, hearing the song. And I actually knew um, Frere Jaca in French, although I really don't say it correctly. I knew the, the words to it in uh, French uh, when I was, uh, you know, four or five years old and uh, listening to this. Um, the book that came with it, and I don't have the book now, it had some crafts and um, activities. It didn't have all the dialogue and everything, like on the the tape um it just it had other things in it and you know you needed the book you know with it but it really like didn't matter if you were actually using the book while you were listening to it um because you did activities uh with her because you know you obviously did the mexican hat dance and um i'm pretty sure i probably did mexican hat dance <laughs> Um, obviously not around a real sombrero. I probably just did it in a circle, but you know, when she said Vamanos. So I knew Vamanos, uh, actually, um, years before I took a Spanish class, uh, mostly because of this. Um, you know, you can't say you didn't learn, don't learn anything from these. Um, the, these really were good for little kids. Uh, you know, and obviously this one, cause there was a language component to it where you actually did learn um, how to count to three in French, Spanish, and Chinese. And um, I actually had forgotten about that number song. Um, I mean, I already knew how to count to three in Spanish and French. I actually can count higher in Spanish. Um, and I used to be able to count to ten in French, but I haven't done it in a long time. Um, but I didn't know, uh, I forgot about the Chinese uh, one, two, three. Um, so, ya, yi, and sun. Yep, I completely forgot that. Now I know it. 
and it'll probably never go away either. Um, all right, well, on that note, um, this is the end of my of the second part of the 1,000th 1, um, 1, blog post uh, celebration. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching this, and if you haven't already watched the first part, which was Cricket's Clubhouse, um, you can definitely uh, check that out. It's on my YouTube channel, and if you're actually watching this on my blog, uh, the first part of the video is in the same article. Uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, um, the video either should be before or listed as a related video. Um, yeah, it's just this, basically, it's me doing commentary uh, to it. Uh, nothing special. Um, but this is just how I really wanted to, uh, you know, celebrate um, accomplishing 1,000 posts on my current blog. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, likes and comments are appreciated. Um, don't have to, of course. Um, but I always, uh, you know, like to be able to see that. Um, be kind. Uh, you know, about your your comments. Um, but uh, thank you very much for watching, and um, if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Uh, links uh, for different uh, things on my blog are actually listed in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Allison Geeks Out. Thanks for watching. Aloha.